Are you high elf? Yes, really high. No, wait, let me clarify. Are you high elf? Yes. Wait, no. I'm not asking if you're high elf. I'm asking, are you high elf? Yes. The fuck? Picture yourself on a road in a wagon, wagon with, with a brick storm cloak and a roar ecstasy. Somebody calls you, you answer. Road out of For the love of Gordon Freeman, where is that infernal singing coming from? Must be one of the prisoners. You there, were you singing? No, I wasn't singing. What do you think, Captain? Better give him a voiceectomy just to be sure. Voiceectomy it is. You, prisoner, come over here to the chopping block and get a voiceectomy. Voiceectomy? I don't want a voiceectomy. I wasn't singing. You there, you ever done a voiceectomy before? Yeah, sure, no problem. I thought you said you'd done this before. Yes, well, admittedly, uh, I need a little practice. Well, at least to stop the singing. Anybody else feel like singing? No, I'm good. I'm good too. Come on, Stormcloaks, let's show these Imperial bastards what for. Let's go down dancing and singing and singing all together now. <laughs> Damn it, there's that infernal singing again! What do we do, Captain? There's only one thing to do. Take off and nuke him from orbit. Take off and nuke him from orbit it is. Whoopsie daisy. What do we do about the mess? We'll just blame it on a dragon. Major Slack Attack. Alright, enough fooling around. Let's get right down to it. My name is Slack and welcome back to my Skyrim pure race build series. This is where we pick a Skyrim race and use only their six race specific skills to create a dragon ready build on legendary difficulty. Now we just finished a pure Nord run which meant no magic of any kind whatsoever including alchemy. Let's go way in the other direction and do a pure high elf run. The high elf's primary skill is illusion and his secondary skills Secondary skills rather are destruction, alteration, conjuration, restoration, and enchanting. Basically, we're going to go from no magic to all magic and only magic. And in case you didn't fully grasp the ramifications of this build, this means no weapons, no armor, no smithing, and once again, no alchemy. Only magic. And uh, let me just say right now, even though we're allowed to use all magic uh, schools, there will be no staffs and no scrolls allowed and we won't be using any bound weapons okay because that would level up the associated skills for example archery one-handed two-handed etc all right so let's get busy i've already started here i went into helgen keep with um headbar because this is the fastest way to speed run through helgen keep we're only after a couple things in here we cast a fury spell on this guy over here to get them engaged they're engaged now we can go for some uh, potions here minor magical potion here healing potion there a bunch of potions in the barrel there and a potion here and that's it that's all we want next we're going down into the torture room in the torture room all we want is the novice gear off the mage here in this gauge here grab all that gear and that's it ignore everything else and that's pretty much it couple of other rules of engagement, there will be no lock picking whatsoever, not even novice locks. Uh, what else? No using followers in combat, although occasionally we will be taking on a follower just to get his goods or a key or something like that. But no using followers in combat, right? Which is another reason why we're speed running through Helgen Keep, because um, that would mean using uh, Hadvar as a helper. Anything else that I left out? 
I think that about covers it. I did install a mod that will, it's called the Woodsman Shack mod. Everybody can get this, I'll look this up. Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Skyrim regular, Skyrim special edition, everybody can install this, okay? This is gonna provide a, an easy headquarters that we can use that will save a lot of time in the walkthrough with load screens and whatnot, okay? I'll show you that later on. It's called the Woodsman Shack mod. Makes you a nice little shack out near, um, I forget where, anyways, I'll show it to you later, probably in part three. Don't forget this iron dagger there and a healing potion. I'm gonna grab the stuff in the cart and that's it, we're out of here. Carefully grab this stuff and that's it. Maybe the iron helmet because then, then I got blasted with some poison so we are out of here. Whenever it comes to using healing potions or healing spells, always use healing spells because you'll level up restoration. Potions we're just going to sell. Magical potions though we will use. And that's it, we made it out. Now the first thing I'm going to do is uh, use one of my mods to pretty up Skyrim. So since we finished with Havar here, I'm going to go off camera, pretty up Skyrim, and I'll be back with live commentary slack. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Okay, here's our bad boy here. A really rough around the edges high elf. His name is Roland Cano. I just kind of cherry picked that name out of the uh, list of names in the ESO list of names. And like I said, I described all the skills that the high elf typically starts out with. Here's all the gear that we collected through Helg and Keep. The high elf starts out with the fury spells. The only race that starts out with the fury spell. And that's the, uh, the summon the imaginator helper. That's the uh, mod that I use to pretty up Skyrim, and I'm going to do that right now, and I'll be right back. Alrighty then, Skyrim all prettied up. Live commentary slack strapped into the cockpit, ready to rock and roll. Let's do this. Let's go on an all magic journey with the High Elf. <laughs> yep, Major Slack uh, 61 going on 16 here. Okay, this is what you're looking for. This is what I call corundum clearing. So named because there's three corundum more veins there. It's just off to the left as you leave Helgen Keep. Go down the path and veer off to the left, and you'll find it. This is an easy way to get to the Shrine of Talos. At the Shrine of Talos is always there. It is right there. There's always a dead Thalmor soldier with two pieces of enchanted gear on him. All right, so let's grab a little chump loot, chump change here. You don't really want that iron sword. This is what we want right here. And what do we get this time? And a high shield of minor blocking? Let's just grab everything. And these hooded Thalmor robes, which we're gonna put on right away. Hooded Thalmor robes on. And let's loot everybody for their daggers and money. Hell, let's take that, those guys clothes too. There we go, sorry buddy, you won't be needing those. Very good. Okay, you got everything? Okay. Fury is going to be your best friend. We are approaching what I like to call Treasure Map Camp. There's three bandits over there. An archer there has a treasure map on him. What we're going to do is cast Fury. Attempt to cast Fury on the archer and get these guys to go ape on the archer. Hopefully kill him. And we can go up and just simply grab the... Tr the treasure map. There's the archer right there. Got him. Great. Let's just back away. Hopefully those guys will attack him and kill him. Except for these guys. It did not work. Um, okay, these guys are fighting. 
There you go. The guy fighting with the uh, the dagger is the archer. He's almost dead. Just die already. There we go. And whoop, yep. Gotcha. What? Watch it now. Okay, that wasn't as as smooth as I expected, but it's okay. End result is the same. Let's get out of here. We looted him. On board is the treasure map. That's all we want. Let's get out of here. If they whack you as you're running away, just heal. Oh shit! There's a wolf there! What the fuck? Okay, this is going horribly wrong. Let's get it out of here. Okay, um, here we are at the Guardian Stones, Mage Stone. It's busy. It is busy. Figures, as soon as I press record, everything goes completely sideways. Okay, everybody's in on the action. Okay, um, let's get back on track here. I am at full health. Let's go get the Flawless Emerald. And try to veer off to the right here to avoid those wolves. You don't want to drag wolves into Anissa's cabin because um, she sometimes goes hostile on you if you bring hostiles into her um, area for some reason. Okay, so the Flawless Emerald, just go over here, jump off this little cliff here, down here, go past the big evergreen tree, look around here, and hidden here on this dead deer carcass is the Flawless Emerald. Let's grab that. Very good. And the treasure map. You don't have to look at it, you just pick it up, but I'm just showing it, you know, just for posterity. These treasure maps, there are six or seven of them, I forget how many exactly. All over Skyrim. Find the maps and the treasure that is related to that map will spawn, usually in a crate. This one is over here in a fallen, fallen tree in the hollow of a fallen tree, which is right here. Riverwood is right over there. As long as you got the map, this will spawn. This chest here will spawn. What do we get this time? This is typical. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go back to the Guardian Stones to see if they calm down. Everybody calm down. Let's go take on Ember Shard Mine. Flames up. Hooded Thalmor robes on. They have no armor, so this is legal. Looking for the uh, the Ember Shard guard. This cart here makes a great obstacle to put between you and him as you're blasting him with flames. Let's just go grab this woodcutter's axe here. There he is. Whoop! Oh, shit! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, I'm just gonna turn off collision. Skyrim glitched out at me. As you're using flames, make sure you alternate blasts like that, like you see me doing. It's a lot more effective. Reason being is you're stacking up the afterburn effect. So it's like one and then the other, just like that. It's very effective. And then release both and then rinse repeat. It's most effective as you're backing away. Most well, effective way to use flames when you're low level and you got no armor and you got very little magic. Okay, so recharge. Let's grab a few torches. Get fury happening. 
This rock trap is your Alamo. If everything goes completely sideways, run back here, run through the rock trap, and hopefully the rocks will fall and damage these guys a lot. But we're not gonna. That's not our first line of defense. Let's do a quick save here. We're gonna just sneak up there. Not sneak up, just kind of calmly walk up there, and we're gonna shoot Fury on the guy closest to us. He's right down there near the campfire. And hopefully those guys will start fighting. Gave us plan, let's do it. Load it up. Let's calmly walk up. Got him. And back away to make sure that they tag each other and start fighting. And it looks like they're fighting. At this point, you can approach. Load up another Fury, maybe extend it. Got him again. Very good. <laughs> Last for 10 seconds. See, see if we tag him again. Got him again. <laughs> no, 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 that guy. Yeah, attaboy. Uh oh. Okay, time for the Alamo. Okay, we killed one. And I think we killed the other one. No, wait, what? Uh-oh. Okay, let's drag this guy through the rocks. There we go. Weren't pretty, but it was effective. <laughs> let's loot these guys. Whenever you have an opportunity to heal, Heal. Don't use your potions. You're just going to sell them. You're just wasting XP if you use your healing potions. Always use your healing spell. Okay, let's wait, or rather sleep, to get the, uh, the rest of the bonus. There you go. All better. Next. Fury up and running again. This can get kind of tricky. Two guys behind there. What you can do is pull the lever that'll lower the drawbridge, and then you can throw out a shot of fury. Hopefully, that'll distract him just enough to stop him so that you can load up another shot of fury and hit him. <laughs> Basically, because it's hard to hit it uh, like it when they're moving. It's hard to hit them when they're moving. Let's just give it a shot here. Lower the drawbridge, throw out a shot right there. Hopefully, it stops him enough. Got him. Okay. Let's back away. And they should start fighting. Hop over here and hopefully start fighting. There they go, they're fighting. Great, got him again. <laughs> the goal of all this is to get 1500 bucks come on here we go Whoop. let's use some of these potions here That's it. and got him great <laughs> no no back yeah yeah that guy you got a mad on for him this is great this will level up illusion a lot Come on, come on, come on. Come on, and what? No, give, give me a shot, give me a shot. There we go. Got him. Haha. <laughs> no, 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 go back. No, no, that, that guy. Yeah, attaboy. Okay, it's time to go for the Alamo. And I'm out of uh, dragging through the rocks. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think you might. Let's just get out of here. And they never come out. Wait an hour, recharge, and 
get healing ready to go. Go back in and see what's up. No dead bodies around here. Here we go. And another one bites the dust. Do 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 do. Another one bites the dust. Who's left? Should be four dead bodies here. Unless one of them despawned because I left. This is quite plausible. Oh, that's going to cut into my profit margin. Okay, next. <laughs> oh, here he is. Down you go. <laughs> and let's take your goodies. What's our carry weight like? It is acceptable. Oh my gosh! I'm not ready for you yet. Let's just try to... Another tactic I like to use if it's a one handed guy, you can r most of the time run by on his let's say his offhand, the hand that he's not using his weapon in. You can run safely by, so blast him a couple times and then run by on his left side. Most of the time, you can get away with He'll try to swipe and he'll miss. Very good. Still alive, still alive. <laughs> Skyrim gods must have a sense of humor. Okay, here we go. Next! We have the key. Let's see what the game gave us this time. What'd you give us this time? Oh, jeez. The worst. I, I hate when it does this. <laughs> Thanks a lot, game. Oh. Okay, it's a really pitiful uh, haul. Really, really bad. Okay, don't forget this dagger there. I don't know why I did that. I don't want that stuff. Okay. Quick save. Want to darken the area here? That archer way off in the distance on the bridge? That's our next target. Let's wait for him to come back. He's going to go on his route. Going to go up the path there. Go up there. Stop there. Pause for a moment or two. A little pause for the cause, then come back here. Come back on the bridge and stop on the bridge. That's when we're going to go for him. Archers are great targets for the Fury spell. Because um, they, like, they can shoot other enemies at range. They don't need to be near another enemy to start like you know shooting them. And as soon as they start shooting other enemies, they get ticked off, come after him. And then when they get up close at melee range, he's only got a dagger. So usually they kill him. Okay, here he comes. He's coming back. There we go. You can see, I don't know if you see this in the video. He's coming back. He's going to come around the corner there. Go out in the bridge. Here we go. Now's a great time to do a quick save. Load up that fury spell. As soon as he stops and plants, let fly. Got him. Let's just back off and we leveled up. Illusion. Mission accomplished. Here we go and he's fighting those guys. Typically the guy down working on the forge will come up and get involved too. You just see it. You just saw him pass by there. Here we go. When that happens or before you can come over here. Tuck yourself in this corner there and you can see the three of them working on it. Sometimes you can pop in another. See if you can get another one. Here we got one. <laughs> keep, them, uh, keep them ticked off at each other. See if you can pop in another one. Nope, swinging a miss. And I'm out of magicka. And oh wow, wait, dude, two of them went down. This is the best I've ever done. Okay, that'll make up for the poor hole. 
Who survived? Typically the, the two handed guys survived. Yep, it's the one in the kitchen. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, in this one we're just gonna have to take down the hard way. Um, basically flame and run. Probably want to do a quick save here because he's got a two handed. Down you go. <laughs> it works like a charm. That one two punch. Don't forget it works great. It's very magical efficient too. And let's just settle this. Have to do this every walkthrough. Yeah, I am indeed on legendary difficulty. Okay, so we own the place. Let's loot it. And we are too heavy. Let's lose the steel warhammer. And typically the steel weapons. Any weapons five pounds or less, we're gonna save for enchanting. Anything else over it, we're gonna sell. Um, let's drop the stuff that uh, has a very low value to weight ratio. And looking for any fur shoes in here. Those are usually crap. Let's drop the foot wraps, the original foot wraps, and these boots here. Fur shoes. Dump those. Down to 250, very good. Okay, so don't forget this dagger here. Where's the other guys? What do you got in here? be a third body here. Here we go. Wait, no, this stuff I dropped. Okay, go over this side. Okay, let me look for him off camera. I'll be right back. Oh, I did get all three. My bad. Okay, one, two, and one over there. That's three. So, that's it. We pretty much looted everybody. Got the precious gems. Got the contents of that chest. That chest down the tunnel there is a locked chest. We can't touch it. And down there is just uh, a couple of free iron ingots, a couple of free iron ore, and a smithing book, all of which we can't use. So we're out of here. Mission accomplished. up illusion a lot more than I usually do. Let me just do a quick save and take a little look see it. Uh, did I actually level up? No I didn't. But uh, yeah, we got illusion up to 26. That's unusual. Very good. Excellent. I think that calls for Mr. Burns. Excellent. Thank you Mr. Burns. Okay, so we got the treasure map, we got the Flawless Emerald, it's time to go to Riverwood and take care of business. Let's just veer off to the right here. Keep away from those wolves, there's nothing there for us. A trio of wolves, no way. Things look quiet enough here. Come on, there's my uncle. All right, let's go talk to Alvor. Alvor, my man. Every day we get this. Hadvar. I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadvar. What? That explains what I saw earlier. A the Jarl need. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. I can do that. Okay, so. Like Start I paying see. your debt. <laughs> Grab all those goodies. Help yourself to whatever you need. And do you have your cell screen? Excellent, you do. Looking to protect yourself? 
or deal some damage. Obviously, all the weapons and armor. Once again, keep all weapons that are five pounds or less, such as daggers, woodcutter's axe. Um, I neglected to pick up a pickaxe in Embershard Mine. You should. That goes. Keep that. Those go. And of course, all the armor. Except the enchanted armor. Anything enchanted, keep. And of course, all smithing materials. We cannot all use that. Right. You have some freebies? Here we go. Your friend told me about helping. Come on inside. Sigrid will get you something to eat. Hold up, hold up here. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Oh, now he's talking to. Uh, okay, so we have to wait till he gets back right. outside. Well, one of us has to do something. I said. Look at my man. I'm relying on you to get me up to fifteen hundred bucks. You do, eh? Those are going to disenchant. Huh, interesting. Um, keep the silver rings. We can sell one. Actually, they're only worth 10 bucks. Forget it. And keep the Thalmor boots and the Thalmor gloves. They'll be, those will be useful for later on for enchanting. Sell all the healing potions, stamina potions, and these scrolls. Where did I get this? Anyways, not using scrolls. All the booze, all the food. And of course, all the ingredients. Uh oh, she's gonna blow. That's my 30 minute timer, so I gotta wrap things up here. Clairvoyance. This is actually an illusion, illusion spell. It doesn't give very much XP, but uh, it's only for 16 bucks. I think this might become useful later on. So I'm gonna keep that. Keep it petty, soul gem, of course, and you are out of gold, and we are just short of fifteen hundred bucks. But if we wait fifteen or twenty-four hours, rather, recharge his inventory, we'll hit the target level. Thieves. As if things weren't bad enough. The Riverwood Trader is ever trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. There we go, 1500 bucks. Mission accomplished, right. that's it people. Wanna thank you all very much for watching and get out of those stupid Thalmor robes. You're a high elf, an honorable high elf. <laughs> Thanks for watching and if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. Our high elf journey is on the way. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.